Need some help? Maybe you've got the motor flooded. What do I do about it? Want me to try? All right. Shove over. Would you like the show? Yeah. How'd you know I was there? I saw you. Wondered why you were alone. I wondered the same thing about you. Don't seem to be flooded. I'll take a look under the hood. Spark. I'm not. Not enough to start the car. Any suggestions? Yeah, I think you ought to have a mechanic look at it. There's an all-night garage on Normandy. You could call him from a bar over here. All right. I'd feel much better if you went with me. That was the idea. Could play the record again, though. Okay. Come on. To get it started? I have to tow it into the shop, ma'am. I can't seem to locate the trouble. How long will that take? Yeah, it's hard to say. Got to call you here? Bartender, what time do you close? 12 o'clock. We don't get much late, Fred. All right, I guess we'll have to call you. Okay. Well. You'd like to take me home? No. Sure. Your place or mine? Surprise me. Oh, yeah. Well, there's uh, no particular hurry. Why don't you check with the mechanic and call me back? Probably with three, three, four, four, nine. Right. Mine? No, yeah, help yourself. That was with plain water, wasn't it? Uh huh. Sorry? Sorry? For what? Picking me up. Is that what you call it, a pickup? Don't you? You uh, get picked up often? Would you care? If I said yes, it wouldn't make much sense, would it? No. I guess it wouldn't. The answer is yes. Would it make any sense if I told you it's never happened before? Maybe. I saw you come into the theater tonight, I... I thought how awful it was. The two of us there all alone. Doesn't make sense. A girl like you. New car, mink coat, perfume, 50 bucks an ounce. It's 100. Still alone. Why? Uh-uh. No questions, don't spoil it. Yeah. How long will it take? Wait a minute. He says the distributor shot. 
take a couple of hours, maybe longer, to fix it. He wants to know where to deliver it. You tell him. You can deliver it here. 3916 Crescent Way. Apartment D. We're doing the best we can. After all, identifying Harry Wheeler as one of the men who knocked off the bank was no break. It was... Ha yes, sir. All right, sir, as soon as I get it. What about you, Rick? Anything from St. Louis? Wheeler was idle five weeks ago. That's all we got. Nothing on who he left with, why he left? They're working on it. About time you showed. Have you got anything for us? No, well, nothing definite, no. What do you want, another three days with her? I didn't ask for the first three. Okay, Paul. We've been drawing blanks here, too. You can have more time with her if you need it. I'm satisfied she's Wheeler's girl. Oh, why? Well, it seems to add up. We spent a lot of time at my place, never at hers. She obviously has a generous friend who's not around at the moment. Last night, when I tried to take her to the Lombardi Club, she backed off. What's the connection? One of Wheeler's hangouts. You think that's enough to go on? Don't you? It'll have to do. Harris, bring in that layout. Oh, what about the girl? I told her I was going to be out of town for a while. Oh, I got this from the bank yesterday. It's the official count. 210 grand and no record of the serial numbers. This is the layout of the building the girl lives in. This is her apartment here. We'll take over this one across the way. Be sure you avoid contact with the rest of the tenants. There'll be two men in this room at all times. One on the phone tap, the other at the window. Another man will be in a lookout car out in front. If Wheeler shows, the man on the lookout car phones upstairs, and the other two will be ready for him when he steps out of the elevator. Sounds real simple. It is. If you ask me, Wheeler's halfway to Peru right now. All oh, that dough and a murder rap hanging over him? Look, get it out of your head that Wheeler won't show. This is all we've got to go on, and I want you expecting him. Did you ever read the statistics on bank jobs, Patty? Ever hear of a heist man being picked up afterward on a highway or international border? They find him holed up in the big city. And 70% of the time, there's a dame with him. How about it, Paul? Think we'll be around? Yeah, he'll be around. Everything straight, then? How about those back doors? They kept locked? They can't be opened from the outside. You'll be in charge of the stakeout, Paul. And you know what I want. You want Wheeler? I want him alive. Remember that, all of you. Dead, he can't tell us where the money is or who his partner was. Alive, he can save us a lot of dirty work. What watch do we take? The important one. I'm putting Briggs, Fine, and Corrick on the day watch. Doesn't figure that Wheeler will show up in broad daylight. Well, I guess that's everything. Pick yourself up a copy of this from Harris. Paul. Keep your eye on Patty. I'd like to see him get his pension. He won't if he slips again. Find Briggs and send him in to me.
Hi, boys. Hello. Been a long afternoon. How's it going? She went out once, Briggs Taylor. Took her car around for a loop job. Might mean something. She's waiting for someone, all right. Doesn't know what to do with herself. Smoked a pack of cigarettes the past two hours. Coffee if you want it. Thanks. All the comforts at home. She got any calls? No. Nope. Everything's in the. A.M. Yeah. Two forty-six called in for. For nothing. You got her? Uh huh. Probably the story of a life. You just don't like women, Rick. What keeps you single? Maybe I like them too much. We've seen all kinds since we joined the force. Big girls, hustlers, blackmailers, shoplifters, drunks. You know, I think I'd still get married if I could find a half-honest woman. Must be a few around. Watch yourself. Those few might just be smarter. Oh, what makes a dame like that type with a guy like Wheeler? Money. What else? She's scared. Scared of being hungry and scared of being alone. You can wrap up her whole life in that one word. Money? It's nice, but it doesn't make the world go round. Doesn't it? Do you know anybody that's happily married that hasn't got plenty of it? My old man was. And he had to stand a wolf off all his life. Uh, my folks hated each other. Fighting all the time. It's about the only thing I can remember about him. One long, endless quarrel. And always about money. Never about anything but money. When I was a kid, I promised myself that when I grew up, I'd have plenty of dough. Plenty of it. I'm doing all right. I owe the Chinaman $2.30 on last week's laundry bill. How'd we get out of this? I think I made a nasty crack about women.
Change your mind about going out of town? Yeah. I took my car to have it serviced today. Happened to mention the trouble I had with it. So the mechanic looked at the distributor. He said it hasn't been touched in months. My car didn't start the other night because you did something to it. Why? Can't think of a fast answer? Yeah, I can think of an answer. I saw you walk into the theater. I like the way you walk. As simple as that. Sure, why not? You're a liar. You're also a cop. You need a drink. What do the police want from me? I wouldn't know. Harry wanted me to keep an eye on you. Harry? Wheeler. He's a friend of mine. Harry Wheeler has no friends. He did me a favor once. And you returned it. You didn't do me that big a favor. So you're a friend of Harry's? That's right. From St. Louis. He dreamed up a pet name for me. He did that for a lot of girls. He never called me anything else. What was it? He was kind of nervous when I talked to him on the phone. He gave me a name and address, that's all. A cop! Dude, you let him cop! Wait a minute, baby. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy. These last few days, they weren't all just cop, were they, Paul? No. No, I learned everything I wanted to know that first night. I went on seeing you because I wanted to. But it's over. What happens now? I'm taking you downtown. A man named Ekstrom wants to ask you some questions. Well. It's been weird knowing you. Not that it matters, Paul, but... I didn't know that Harry was... what he is. He told me he owned apartment houses in St. Louis. Did he buy you that coat? Yes. Who was his partner? Partner? Yeah, there were two in that bank, John. We only identified Wheeler. I told you we didn't have any friends. I met him at a nightclub in the Strip. He came in alone. He was always alone if he wasn't with me. And you let him set up house for you. All right. He bought me my clothes and my car. And a lease on a decent place to live in. Things I've never had in my whole life. If you'd known where his door came from, would you still have taken it? Money isn't dirty, just people. How's he getting in touch with you? He'd be crazy to try and you know it. Why? It was just a lucky break that we got a line on you. He probably figures you're clear. Maybe he will try. I suppose my phone's tapped. What happens to Harry if he's caught? He killed a man. And the 200,000? What do you think? I think it's a lot of money. Right now, Harry's got it. That's right. Paul? Go on home. Why? I wouldn't know. Go on before I start thinking about it. I don't want to go, Paul. We could have that money, Paul. You and I. Look, Harry's going to die no matter what we do. So what difference will it make if he shows up and he's killed? Be a perfect setup for a cop, wouldn't it? I could knock him off, hide the money, and 
Call the meat wagon. No questions asked. Think what that money could mean to us, Paul. To you and me. And I thought I was using you. Get out. Get out! Where'd you go? Oh, drove around going no place. Might have been trying to make a contact or something. She looks a little frustrated at that. Should one of us go down and relieve Patty? Hey, you with me? Huh? I thought one of us ought to go down and relieve Patty. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. What's she doing? Hanging drapes. Oh, you mean Wheeler's dame. She's sitting over there staring at the wall. There's a little nurse next door, always busy. Has to stop moving for a minute. Hello. What's holding you up? Where are you? The bowling alley. Where else? And tell me you forgot about it. I'm sorry, Rick. I did forget about it. I woke up this morning with a fat headache. I think I better skip it today, huh? Sure. Bring yourself some thick black coffee. I'll see you tonight. Right. Why don't you sit down? Give your feet a rest. I'm all right. How are you? What do you mean by that? You've been looking kind of bad the last couple of nights. Trouble sleeping, daytimes? Yeah, yeah, the... Somebody kitchen in the neighborhood. 
And me, I get home, take a big double shot, and wham, I'm asleep. I'll have to try that. Why don't you get out and relieve Rick? Right. Just a minute. Give me back my purse. I'll give it to you when you come down, okay? Now, you're being very childish. Give it. No, you're not going to get it. Hey. No, I said. Forget it. It's not worth now, it. Now, wait a minute. You're going to come the lady down. lady said good night. I guess you didn't hear. Why don't you mind your own business, buddy? I'll give the lady back a purse and take a walk. Look, chum, I don't think it's any of you. Be a nice fella. Catch yourself some air. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. You did that like as if you'd done it before a few times. I, I, I was a bouncer once a long time ago. Maybe I should learn how it's done. Might come in handy. Wouldn't it be simpler just to avoid that type? grateful for what you did. Never know for sure. Some women like that kind. Oh, well, I don't. Not that it matters, but I didn't have a date with him. I I'm a nurse, and he goes with a friend of mine at the hospital. He offered me a lift home, and I made a mistake and accepted. You don't have to explain it to me. No, it's just that I... I guess I didn't want you to have a bad opinion of me. Don't ask me why. All right, I won't. But shouldn't I offer you a cup of coffee or something? It seems the least I could do. After you learn that hemlock. I won't need it. My roommate hasn't left yet. She's a nurse, too. Night shift. Maybe some other time. Oh, all right. Uh, good night. Good night. fast. Take the stairs and go up in the roof. I want to talk to you. Right now. Don't even bother to finish that drink. Sorry for the delay. I got tied up. It's all right. The girl's going out. I'll take her.
over here, Paul. You win. Couldn't have taken much more. Wondering what was happening. Waiting for the phone to ring. I'm scared of mine. Thinking of you. Wanted to see you. Wanted you to call me. I know. This isn't going to be easy. We've got to keep our heads every second. Your phone's tapping. There are three men watching you day and night. Harry's coming here. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow? That soon? You've got to stop him. How? I don't know where he is. Well, he'll call first, won't he? Yes, but Well, then stall him. And don't answer your phone unless I'm on the tap. Paul, will you listen to me? It doesn't matter if anyone hears. Harry told me exactly what to say when he calls. And if I say anything else, he won't... What did he tell you to say? When he calls, he'll ask me what TV program I'm looking at. If everything is clear, I'll say I'm not looking at TV. You're not looking at TV? Yes, and that's it. He'll show up here 10 or 15 minutes later. Here. Do you think you'll have the money with him? Yes. Can't you tell him to meet you someplace else? No, if I say anything but what he told me to say, it's a signal to run. He'll show up right after he calls. 10 or 15 minutes later. All right. All right. Now, remember. You're not to answer your phone until after 7 o'clock when I'm on the tap. When Wheeler calls, you give him the all clear. Then you leave fast. One man will tail you, and I'll change places with a man outside. Have you got an extra key to your apartment? No, but maybe Never I... mind. When you go, leave the door open so I can get in. How long do I stay away? You don't come back until you call me first. If it's all over, I'll be there to take the call. If you don't get an answer, stay away. Have you got it all straight? Yes. You sure? Uh-huh. All right, now go down in your car and drive around for a while, and then come back. I'll be right behind you. Could not drive to your place. No. No, we can't take any more chances. Now go on. Be careful, Paul. Isn't that the most... Well, you only get out of a sweater what you put into it, I always say. Yeah, you said it twice this morning. Let me have a look. Answer your phone, Blondie. Still in the bedroom. She's not going to answer it. That's funny. Just missed something. What happened? Her phone rang half a dozen times. You just ignored it. How'd she react? Couldn't tell. She was in the bedroom. Maybe she knows her phone's tapped. You're uh, sure she wasn't in the shower or something? Just stood in the bedroom and stared at the phone. Almost hate to leave. This may be the big night. Yeah. I can hardly tear myself away. Well, enjoy the view. I'll see you. Good night. That call was supposed to mean something. She isn't showing it.
Probably a roommate's party. Must be a night off or something. How do you know it isn't her party? She's tired. I saw her come home tonight. She was beat. You'd never know it to look at it now. Ah, this thing will probably go on all night. What do you care? I don't. Maybe I do. I, I find myself watching her like I was a father or something. I wait for her to come home. When she's late, I worry about her. Wonder what she's doing. And uh, who she's doing it with, is that the idea? Yeah, something like that. At least I feel I know her well enough to... I'm gonna answer it. Hello? Good evening, this is the RTV rating service. Uh, would you tell me what program you're watching right now? TV program, that is? I'm not watching TV. I see. Thank you. Did you ever hear of an RTV rating service? No. See what she's doing. She's gone in the bedroom. She's going out, Paul. This may be it. Like me to take her this time? I'd get my right arm to nail that babe and her boyfriend. Okay, Rick. Go ahead. Good luck. WJ82311. Your name and number? Sheridan, Hollywood 95264. Hurry it up, please. Yes, sir. There's no answer, sir. No answer? There's got to be an answer. Try it again. Yes, sir. WJ82311. Your job, that's what's up. If extra flies on about Paul, this... But all I did was... I know. We'll talk about it later. I'll take over in the car. You go upstairs. Sure, Paul. Go over there. What is it? Wheeler. He's gone in. You gotta call Rick. No. No, Rick's not up there. The girl went out. He's tailing her. Then what'll we do? Well? When he finds out she's not up there, he may get scared and run. If he doesn't, we'll go up and take him there. Come on. Ekstrom don't need to know about what happened, does he? What? Ekstrom. Do you have to know about... If nothing goes wrong, no. Don't 
lose my pension, Paul. But I guess you'll do what you gotta do. I'll give you every break I can. If you'd been on the job, I'd have taken him at the elevator, the way Ekstrom wanted it. You better hope nothing goes wrong. Let's go. Where? Downtown. But first we'll pick up the money, huh? You got it in your car? Let's go find out, huh? Have the keys. It's like the whole bundle. What'd you do with your partner, Wheeler? Kill him? Okay, Patty. Close the satchel. He jumped you. What else? Why'd well, you shoot him? I could have handled him. Well, you're half drunk. For all I knew, he had your gun. Well, what now? I don't know. Exton will crucify us. He wanted him alive. There'll only be one goat. Me. No. No, there's a way out. Give me a hand, Patty. What are you doing? I'm saving your skin. Tomorrow I'll drive the car someplace and leave it. They'll find it and we'll be in the clear. All we have to do is keep our mouths shut. That's the gimmick. Gimmick? You were doing all this for me. Why not? I don't know, but I'd rather lose my pension than when they find Wheeler. Will they find that money, too? What kind of a crack is that? Maybe I'd better call Exum right now. I got to know, Paul. I got to know the money. He'll be there. Sure, it'll be there. Then give me the keys. We'll both drive the car away tomorrow. Okay, Patty. You keep them. We better get back. Thank you. 
I'm, uh, I'm afraid I gave you the wrong impression. I doubt it. No, really. Uh, you, you remind me of something. <laughs> Haven't you ever met me before? Hundreds of times. I, I don't get it. And you won't, so try someplace else. No, <laughs> you've got the wrong idea. I'm not just fresh. I'm sure that I've met you someplace. What? Uh, will there be anything else, sir? Is everything all right? There's a complication, but I can handle it. Get back here. What happened? I'll talk to you later. Oh, I'm sorry. We're having a little party next door and ran out of ice cubes. Can I borrow some? I'm sorry. I can't help you. She spotted me. Why? She made a call from the twilight room, came right back here. You mean she spotted me or knows her phone's tapped or both? Or neither. Maybe. And you're up kind of late, Lieutenant. Something break? Our man's in town. Spotted in a drugstore on the east side earlier this evening. I hoped you might have him here for me. Well, we hope the same thing. Afraid I haven't. Why not? Dame acts like she knows the phone's tap. Made a call from a bar tonight. Probably totted him off. And you've been here alone? For the last hour, yeah. All quiet? Her phone rang once, that's all. Check the neighborhood, Sheridan. Parked cars, alleys. I'll wait here a while. Right. What time did you leave tonight, Rick, to tell her? About 10.30. What time did you get back? A minute ago. Why? I phoned here a half dozen times between 10.50 and 11.15. No answer. Same thing from the car parked outside. I gave him a chance to explain. Why didn't he? Talk to Patty? He had nothing to offer either. But he's scared to death. You and Sheridan are fairly close, aren't you? That's right. But I'm not trying to cover for him. Maybe Paul's trying to do it for Dolan. Why? Why not ask Dolan? I'm asking you, and I want an answer. When I followed her, I drove past the lookout car. Patty wasn't in it. When I got to the intersection, I... I saw him going to a bar. I guess that bar was just a little too close. We shut up and get back in the car. Exum, talk to you. He knows something's up. What'd you tell him? Nothing I didn't have to, he knew. He doesn't know anything. He just thinks he does. He gave me a phony job to get me out of the room. Give me the keys to Wheeler's car. I'll get it out of here while we've still got a chance. Come on, give me the keys. We're only making things worse, Bo. I'm going to tell Ekstrom just the way it happened. You're not going to tell him anything. I'm in this too, remember? Why? You were just covering for me. Isn't that right? Then Ekstrom will throw the book at me. Who do you think you're kidding? You'll come out sweet as a rose. A hero for trying to protect a buddy. Look, Patty, Ekstrom can't prove a thing. Why throw away your pension? We 
Because I spent 25 years being a dumb, honest cop. And I'm stuck with it. Wait a minute. What's the idea? You didn't do anything for me. You're after that dough. That's why you came down looking for me. You knew Wheeler was going to show. Now, wait a minute, Patty. Nope. We're both going up and tell it just like it is. There's an answer. Come on. Tell them to get here as fast as they can, but no sirens. And keep this from the press boys. I heard a shot. Patty? Dead? Rick, get those people back to bed. We don't want a crowd around here. All right, folks, back on the sidewalk. What's going on, officer? We heard the shot. Just a slight accident. Back on the sidewalk, please. What do you think? I don't know. Potter Burns, his own gun. Why would he kill himself? I didn't say that. Then you think he didn't? Where were you tonight around 11 o'clock? I was upstairs. Why? No, you weren't. We know where Dolan was. Where were you? You know where Dolan was. McAllister saw him. I told him I'd cover for him. I tried to get him on the car phone about 10.30. He didn't answer. I know. The operator gave me the message just now. I uh, came down to see what had happened to him. Found he'd gone over at the bar. He was scared. He kept talking about his pension. I brought him back here. I tried to make him understand I wouldn't say anything. But I uh, guess he wasn't listening. You better get back upstairs. We've still got a job to do here. Yeah. There's not much point keeping the stake out now, is there? You got any better ideas?
He's dead. I shot him. What do you mean? Patty Dolan. What happened? I killed him. Poor dumb harmless. He pulled a gun on me. It went off. It was an accident. I. Are they after you? No. But everything's gone wrong. Patty and, and that girl downstairs, she, she saw me in your apartment. What girl? The one that lives next to you, the nurse. Does she know who you are? I don't think so. But she'll remember me. She'll remember me good. Paul, look, we've got the money. Why don't we, we get We haven't got now? the money. The car's gone. How? Patty must have moved it. Couldn't move it far. It must be around here someplace close. Maybe we could spot it from up here. McAllister's still down there. You take that side. I'll look over here. Upstairs, Rick. Who tells Patty's wife? That goes with my job. What are you gonna say? Killed himself? What else can I say? Get those people out of there. Anything serious? Disappointment to me. Oh? The other night. You were just doing your job. You are a policeman, aren't you? Paul? That's it. Go down to your apartment. Stay there a few minutes and then leave. I want the man to follow you kept out at least an hour. What are you going to do? I'm going to put Wheeler's body where it'll be found tonight. Why? Why take any chance now? Tomorrow? I can't do it in the broad daylight. And if that girl sees me again, I'm through. When they find the body, the stakeout will be over, and I'll be away from here. Everything's going to be all right. Sure, sure. You have a wonderful way of sidestepping questions. Shall I just stop asking? Right now, yes. But save them for next week. Next week? You wouldn't be asking for a date. I can't even answer that for sure. Is your name in the book? Ann Stewart, with a W. But you better call me at the hospital. After our party tonight, we may be evicted. Was it that bad? I didn't think so, but the people next door apparently did. People next door? You don't mean 423? Yes, why not? What happened? Well, nothing really. I went over to borrow some ice cubes from him. Him? You mean her, don't you? No, I mean him. What time was it? Well, about uh, 11. Is he uh, important? He may have killed a man last week and another tonight. Do you think you could recognize him if you saw him again? Yes, I think I could. And you'll be hearing from me sooner than I thought. Good night. Wheeler was here, in her apartment. When? You were out looking for Patty. How'd you find out about it? The nurse. She tried to borrow some ice cubes. He gave her a fast brush off. 223, please. Mitchell, when Exum gets in, have him call me. McAllister. Right. Did she identify him? Well, who else could it be? What's the blonde doing? The usual things. If there's anybody in there with her, she doesn't know it. You think the nurse scared him off? 
I don't know. She said he opened the door before she knocked, as if he was leaving. Well, then, when he found out his girl wasn't up there, he probably got nervous. And... Why wasn't she? I can't spot it, but something's wrong somewhere. And what happened to Patty? That doesn't fit either. Dexter must have scared him out of his mind. Do you really think Patty killed himself? If you were going to check out, would you put a 38 slug in your belly? Nobody kills himself like that. Least of all a cop. I know Patty like I know my own self. He wouldn't have done it, not that way or any other way. And he certainly wouldn't have let Wheeler get that close. Maybe he did. No. You know what I think, Paul? I think whoever killed Patty was right there in the car with him. Sitting right there beside him. Hello? All right, give him a message. Wheeler paid us a visit about 11 o'clock tonight. The lady in apartment 426. Yeah, she went over to the bar of some ice cubes. just came in. Where'd you go? Nowhere. Anything happen over there? No, it's all quiet. Know where she went? To the beach. Looked at the water exactly three minutes, came right back here. Why? Doesn't make sense. Well, she probably figured there was only one man watching her place, wanted to draw him off. Why? Nothing happened over there, and Schaefer didn't see anything outside. slugs in the back. Where? When? Dumped out of a car on 3rd and Wilmer about a half hour ago. 
Doesn't she ever go to bed? We're going over there and get a few answers. You stay here, Paul. It'll go smoother if she doesn't see you just now. McAllister and Ekstrom are on their way over to see you. They'll be there in a minute. They'll ask you a lot of questions, but they don't know a thing, so don't let them scare you. No, I'll be over here. But in case you do see me, you know me. Remember that. All right, Paul. Who is it? Where does he think he's going? What is this, anyway? Routine check. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Terry Wheeler. Get him out of my bedroom. All right. Won't you sit down, Miss McLean? May I? When was the last time you heard from him? Who? Harry Wheeler. Who's Harry Wheeler? He'd been getting some space in this week's papers. Afraid I don't read the paper. And I don't know anyone named Harry. Don't you have to know a man to give him a key to your apartment? What's that supposed to mean? Harry Wheeler was in this apartment tonight at 11 o'clock. Wasn't even here at 11. No. You were at the Twilight Room. But there was a man here. If it wasn't Wheeler, who was it? If there was anyone here, he broke in. What did Wheeler come up here for? Maybe it wasn't Wheeler. You knew his partner, too, didn't you? No sale. You didn't find what you were looking for, so why don't you let me go to bed? I'm afraid I have some bad news for you, Lona. Wheeler's partner double-crossed him, which means he double-crossed you, too. He shot Wheeler tonight and dumped his body into the street. Which means nothing to me. If I didn't know better, I'd think we were on the wrong track. Call the stakeout. Have him bring over the log. We've been keeping a score sheet on you. We'll go over it together, point by point. Sherman. Rick. Exxon wants the log brought over. I'll be right over. Have known. You're just the type. Want to stick around? Afraid she doesn't like you, Paul. Better wait for us. All right.
operator. Give me the police. Hurry. and 60, Park Crest Hotel, 322 French Street, Code 3. Sheridan. Next from there. Well, you better go over and give him this. A woman of the building, uh, an Ann Stewart, apartment 421. Uh, she just called in. Says she saw the man we're after, whatever that means. Oh, and, yeah, two more cars. She mentioned McAllister, so it may be a break. Yeah, you never know. Okay. Who's there? Miss Ann Stewart? Yes? The police. You put in a call? No reason when I can't sleep, I drive. Who pays your rent? I do. How? What about the call you got from RTV? I don't know what you're talking about. There wasn't a rating service to call. We checked on it. Who was it? If there was a call, I'd have remember it. Well, if you do as you're told, you won't get hurt. What are you going to do? I'll think it over. You've got until tomorrow. But don't try to leave unless you want to be picked up and booked for vacancy. Get your coat. Come on, come on. Sheridan? Guess he went downstairs. Yeah. Yes? It's Paul. Open up. Turn the lights on first. Good rest. We're getting out of here. Go on, hurry. Where's Sheriff? Upstairs. If he was upstairs, I wouldn't be asking you about him. Did he just give you a message? What are you talking about? What message? Woman called. Said she saw the guy we're looking for. What was her name? Stewart. 420. <laughs>
right now. Go on. Hold on a second. Sheridan, and the blonde, the girl who just called in, they're all missing. You and Schaefer searched the building, top to bottom. Who are we after? Maybe Paul Sheridan. Pick a prowl guard, cover the back. <laughs> Right behind Wheeler's. Do you think they know it's Harry's car? I don't know. Maybe they just happened to park there. There's one way to find out. Here. That car over there. Here's the key to the trunk. Open it. You'll find a bag. Bring it here. Take it. Be smart. Don't turn around. When I fire, get behind the car. Duck. It's clear that way. Go to Western and Wilshire. Wait for me there. What are you going to do? I'm going to get that car. Now go on, hurry. Oh, wait. You can't get that money. Will you go, Please Lord. don't try. Get the go on. Joy Street emergency. Sorry, Rick. So am I, Paul. So am I. Thank you. 